Hey, how's it going everyone? It's James here with the VV Co. and today we're going to take a look at one of our more unique pedals. Yep, you heard right. A theremin pedal. Now, this theremin pedal is part of our new Almanac series, which is pretty much a tribute to the history of pedals in these small books. Be sure to check out our website. You can order just about anything that we've made in this small form. We're gonna dive right into it, but I'm sure some people are wondering what a theremin is. I mean, bro, what even is a theremin? So the theremin was invented in 1919 by a Soviet inventor of the same name. It was originally intended for the military for its study in proximity sensors. However, I'm not sure exactly what it was used for because I'm not really that much of a history buff and I'm definitely not a war expert. But at some point, its inventor realized that it would make a pretty cool instrument. So he began to tour it all over the world to sell out crowds, showing off the pretty cool things it could do. And in 1928, he received a patent for it. But due to its eerie sound, it really took off when sci-fi hit. In fact, you can hear it on lots of old sci-fi movies like The Day the Earth Stood Still. And it was even used recently on Disney Plus's Loki series. But what really makes it shine is this is considered to be the precursor to the modern synthesizer. In fact, Robert Moog actually cited the theremin as one of his main influences for the Moog synthesizers. They completely started a revolution for music that we're still feeling and emulating today. You can also hear it in some pretty famous tunes, ranging all the way from the Beach Boys' Good Vibration, that kind of whistly sound, or when you see Jimmy Page doing this kind of crazy stuff. Or even this guy playing Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which apparently has like 11 million views. So how did it work? Well, basically it used a proximity sensor on one side and on the other side, there was a volume. So you would swell the volume with one hand and you would move your other hand closer and farther away to change the pitch. So the pedal that we're gonna be taking a look at kind of emulates that sound, but lets you use your guitar to actually play the notes. All right, so let's just take a look at it here. On this side, we got a volume. Um, pretty self-explanatory, no explanation needed. Now over here, this is actually, um, it fades between two different things. It's got a built-in fuzz, a really cool clippy fuzz. Well, here it sounds like this. When you turn it all the way this way, it's just the theremin. And of course, you can blend it anywhere in between to kind of come up with some cool stuff. Now, there's also a switch on here. When you put this up, it's just in regular mode. When you click it down, the thing kind of goes into overload, you know, taking off in the high, the high frequency range. So it's actually pretty fun. I'll, we'll show you how that works when we, when we dive into the demo. All right, so let's check it out and see how it sounds. Right now I've got it rolled all the way over. So what we're listening to is just a theremin. We're not blending the fuzz right now. It might feel like it takes some getting used to, but that's, just because of one factor, and that's that the notes ramp the pitch up, and when you stop, it brings the pitch back down. It might feel like the tracking is kind of squirrely, but you just gotta factor in the notes going up and down. Here that goes up, and back down. So as long as you keep that in mind, it makes it a lot easier to use. Think of each, each time you stop is restarting the swell, the wah. So you can move up notes. As long as you don't make a break in between the notes, you can keep the pitch moving. As soon as you stop, it's going to drop back off. You're going to be swelling the volume on a real theremin. Now, we don't have a way to swell the volume here, but you can easily use a volume pedal if you want to kind of get that, that swelling 50 sci-fi kind of vibe going on. Just make sure you put the volume pedal after the theremin pedal. If you put it before, you're gonna be messing with the amplitude going into your theremin pedal, and that's not good, so make sure you put it afterwards. It also sounds really cool when you add some delay, either uh, your favorite delay or one of ours. Now the other cool thing on this pedal is its fuzz. Just gonna roll that down. So now we're listening to just the fuzz. You can hear it's a pretty nasty analog, clippy kind of fuzz. Um, one of my favorite kind of fuzzes to play with. But if you start to blend it up, 
Now we've got fuzz and theremin at the same time, and this sounds pretty cool. <laughs> We chose this type of fuzz because of the way it articulates the notes. It's real... It's very precise. So the last thing I want to take a look at here is this switch. Now what this is going to do is it's going to move it up, not just an octave, but once you engage the switch, it's going to keep moving up and up and up and give you some really cool, crazy effects. This isn't something you're going to want to turn on and leave on. This is just an extra little feature to reach down and play with. If this is just an added feature to have a little bit more fun. So let's take a look at what it does. Now when I hit this... You can hear it starts going crazy every time I engage it, it starts to go up. When I turn it off, it drops back down. So this one I think is actually pretty fun to add some delay to. I have tried this pedal out with some different guitars and humbucker single coils, they both seem to work fine. So, in fact, I forgot to even look where I was set before I started this demo. Looks like I am on the bridge. I am on the bridge as a humbucker. So any guitar is going to work, so have fun. There you go. This is the Theremin pedal from VVCo, and we'll see you next time.